sister. Welcome to the Happy, Purposeful, and Free podcast, where we are all about going after our dreams, living aligned with our soul's purpose, and playing all out. I'm your guide, Katrina Lully, life and biz mentor, entrepreneur, mom of four, wife, and big kid at heart. This is where you will get the realest of the real from me and our special guests about living a life with passion, alignment, and what's true for you. We don't do the small talk around here. We are all about being who we are, sharing the tools, tips, all the behind the scenes, and inspiring stories that empower you to boldly pursue your life. I will share all the goods on life, business, and relationships so that you can start living your happy, purposeful, and free. Let's do this thing together. What's up, my beautiful soul sister? Okay, it's been a week since I've been back when this podcast come out, but technically I just got back yesterday for my Sedona trip, and I know that I mentioned some of it in last week's episode, but now you're going to get the real juicy details on how amazing this trip was. I cannot tell you how needed time away is. Just that in general, just that alone is so crucial to our well-being overall. It doesn't matter what you're doing, who you are, you know, um, if you're a mom, if you're a wife, if you're both of those things, time away with other beautiful people to deepen connections, deepen relationships with is so important. And how can you make that happen? And I talked about this last week. I know that I did. And I'm just reiterating it because like I said, this this retreat was amazing. It was truly amazing. Now there were some moments like just like it with anything when you put a group of girls together and that, nothing bad at all. Um, but it was overall an amazing trip. Stona has such a beautiful vibe. And I want to share with you um, an important exercise that I have my clients do because this came up for me while I was over the trip, thinking about really reflecting on and seeing your own growth, seeing how far you have come, whatever area that you're working on, if it's better eating, diet, health, um, if it's growing yourself, leaning more into the divine, feminine, learning more to step into faith and trust, whatever that is, if you're working on building your business and uh, having the success there and If you're feeling as though you're not truly getting to the space that you want to get to, I want you to stop and take some time or start a list. Just start the list and then you can always add to it. But I want you to go and I want you to make a list of 250 things that you have done in your life that you are proud of, your successes, the things that have brought you that joy, that sense of accomplishment, all of those things that you can celebrate to show yourself how far you have actually come, how much you have already done in your life. The awards from elementary school that you got for, you know, being star of the week and the the awards for, you know, your uh, karate class, your your belts that you um, belted up in. I don't know if that's what you call it. But, you know, um, when you sold your first program or sold your first clients or showing up in a room for the first time and feeling confident and not immediately going to, oh, my God, I don't fit in here. Celebrating all of those accomplishments, writing down all of the things you've done this far in your life up until this very moment today. 250 or more. You have 250 or more. I know it seems like a lot, but trust me, you have it. And once you start writing those things down, the juices start flowing, things are going to begin to shift for you. And I want you to really take a moment and reflect on these things. Look at all of them. Don't just write them down, like pay attention to what you've done. This will help you pull and be reminded of all of the amazing skills you have, first of all. And then it's also going to remind you of how brave you are, how fearless you are. Those moments that you chose to step out of your comfort zone and step up into whatever that is. And those are the moments that are so juicy, so good and are going to remind you of the power that is within you. 
And I do this for my clients. I, I ask them to do this because of all that it shows. Because when we're we're when we're like living life and we're working on, you know, growing ourselves, building our business, you know, all of the things. When we're working on those things, we get so lost in it, we forget to stop and smell the roses, like literally stop and smell the roses, really reflect on how far you've come in the last week, because you're not the same person you were a week ago, the last month, the last six months, the last year, the last five years, you are not the same person. If you've been on this path, and if you're listening to this episode to this podcast, you are one of those people, you are led here for a divine reason. And it, right now it's to reflect on all of the beautifulness that you've already done in your life. We don't take enough time to stop and reflect on these things. And when we do, it brings us back to this moment of presence and gratitude and recognizing all that we're truly capable of, because somehow we forget about it along the way. Along the road, we forget to recognize and we forget to acknowledge. And we forget that we've already stepped out into a place that was fearful for us. But we continue to buy into that fear over and over and over and over again. Because we don't remember, like we've already done fearful things. We've already stepped out into fearful. Are you a mom? Did you have some fear around being a mom? Right? We all have fear around being a mom. Like, okay, how do I keep this kid alive? What do I do when it's crying? What do I, am I going to change its poopy diaper, right? What if it gets a rash? What if the fever, like all of those fears and we find our way through it because we are equipped. We are given the tools. We are equipped. We already have the tools that we need. It's a matter of believing in ourselves to step into that space on a truer, deeper level. And so this is why we get to go back and reflect on all that we have already done to be reminded. Oh, I gave birth naturally. I gave birth to twins. I kept this child alive for the last 10 years. That's a win. That's something to be celebrated. That's a success. Oh my gosh. Okay. I remember that time when I was like so afraid to put myself out there and send this message to somebody that I find online that is so inspirational and so cool. And I sent the message and guess what? They responded or they didn't respond. Doesn't matter, but I sent the message. So I walked through that fear. We walk through fears every single day, but we forget to actually reflect on that. And so we don't see the power that we actually have. Instead, we want to buy into the story that there's fear to continue to buy into and to keep us from living our full potential. And so, you know, being on this trip was so good in reminding like how far I've come, how much growth has happened in my life, where I came into a room, I went on a trip by myself, I got on an airplane, which I've done a few times before, because I choose to keep showing up in that way, choose to keep putting myself in the uncomfortableness. And go on that trip, come to, yeah, I knew most of these women online, not all of them, but I've already, you know, been on Zoom calls with some of them, but that's a whole different story, right? Than going and showing up and choosing to spend a week with them in a house, in a place that's far from home, you know, and, and showing up and being in that space of like, oh my gosh, I belong here, putting on a bathing suit and taking pictures and just laughing and not giving a crap that I don't love the way my body looks right now. And then in that moment, loving myself, like thinking, fuck yeah, I look good. Oh my God, I am beautiful. Look at how amazing I am. And look at these beautiful women I'm around. I am so grateful. So really reflecting on all that is good. And sometimes making that list is what exactly what we need to go back and look. And I know you can say, well, Katrina, you know, that's all fine and nanny, but I, I still have this fear come up. That's why, you, that's why you hire me as a coach, quite honestly. That's why you hire a coach, to help you, to give you the, to give you, to go inside and really get into what is going to help you shift, really help you pull back the curtain, really help you uncover what's keeping you stuck, what's keeping you blocked. Um, this space was just so beautiful. I was so grateful, again, um, for this trip for this space, for this time, because it it was a great reflection for me. I did grow. I did grow. There's always room for growth. There's always possibility. There's never an ending. And I did grow. And 
for me, a big piece of that growing was the recognition of where I, where I've come. And in a way that it wasn't, uh, reflected back to in a dark way, in a way that pulls you back, but in a way that empowers and uplifts. So I hope this provides some beauty and a kickstart to your week. I'm so proud of you for just showing up today, for listening to this podcast, for waking up today, opening your eyes, being a part of in whatever capacity that is for you today, because you're right where you need to be. You're right where you need to be right now. But where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? Let's let's work on getting you there. Make sure you've jumped over to um, my freebie. Go over to my Instagram, Katrina A. Lally. Grab the freebie in my bio. Go to the link in my bio. Grab that freebie. Um, it's a rate your life checklist. And, you know, it's so powerful, so valuable to know, like really sometimes put that pen to paper and put a number to how we feel about where we're at right now. It's a really powerful freebie for you to go use. Make sure you go head on over, go grab that, get on my mailing list. You guys aren't missing out on all of the good things. And uh, I will talk to you very, very soon. Love you. Thank you so much for listening. And if you loved this episode and know of someone else who has a powerful story and are doing big things, please pass them on to me. It would mean the world to me if you helped me get this message out to as many listeners as I can. So please, if you liked what you heard, it goes a long way to take 60 seconds, leave me a five-star review, and share this episode with a girlfriend. Don't forget to tag me on social media, and if that's not your thing, shoot me a DM because I would like to personally thank you for doing so. We are not meant to do this life alone, and I'm so grateful to be on this journey with you. Until next time.